For the last few weeks, new guests have moved into Hira Ram's Dhani, a hay thatched hut where he stores grain. A family of desert hedgehogs. Since then, he hasn't cleaned up his granary or picked up grain from there so that the mother and her newborns feel at home. This is not the first time Hiraram has had wild guests over. And this won't be the last. In fact, Almost all residents in his village are warm and welcoming hosts. Sharing spaces with wildlife is a part of their culture. They also consider themselves the guardians of the Orans of Rajasthan. Orans are sacred groves. Protected by surrounding villages, every Oran hosts a water body that fuels rich biodiversity. An oasis that sustains a parched desert landscape. Rajasthan hosts nearly 25,000 such groves. The lives of the Oran's people and its wildlife are intrinsically linked. One thrives because of the other. The Orans with their rich flora and water resources are ideal grazing grounds for the villagers, camels, goats and sheep. The villagers in turn protect the land and its wild. No one can cut trees or bring any harm to the Oran. The Degrai Mata temple near Devi Kot is over 600 years old. In the 16th century, the king of Jaisalmer allocated 60,000 bighas of land next to the temple for the creation of the Degrai Oran. Sumer Singh grew up in Savanta, a village that lies at the heart of the Degrai Oran. Since childhood, he has shared a deep bond with Degrai. He has watched the sacred land closely and patrolled it diligently, keeping it safe from any harm. This Degrai Oran is not safe from the trees, but it is not safe from the trees. It is safe from the trees, the trees, the trees, the trees, the trees, the trees, the trees. On one of his recent patrols, Singh spotted a desert cat with three kittens. Since then, he's been visiting the site every day to make sure that the mother and her babies stay safe. The Degrai Oran shelters a variety of trees and wildlife. A healthy population of spiny tail lizards, desert gerbils, and other reptiles thrive here, attracting a range of predators that scan the skies and sands for a meal. The usually nocturnal sand boa at times makes an exception by hunting in the day but only if the catch is as good as this juicy, spiny-tailed lizard. After all, the spiny is a prized catch. Every predator wants it. The natural world is an intricate web of interdependence and competition. 
a fragile balance that can break under the pressures of human-made development. Today, a new challenge confronts the balance of Degrai Oran. High-tension cables from renewable energy projects that now occupy the sky. No matter how strong these birds of prey may seem, they can't handle the tangle of wires crisscrossing their flight path. Several collide with these cables. Some get injured, but most succumb to an immediate death. हर दिन खत्म हो रहा है इन तारों से टकरा करके कभी टोनी ईगल खत्म हो रहा है कभी इजिप्शियन वर्ल्ड खत्म हो रहा है हमें दर्द होता है ये देख करके विकास हमें चाहिए विकास के बिना कुछ संभव नहीं है लेकिन विकास किसके बदले में मिल रहा है विकास जिसके बदले में मिल रहा है वो उसके प्रकृति जो यहाँ पर्यावरण ये जो सब चीजें नष्ट हो रही है वो खो रहे हैं हम हमारे यहाँ विचरण करने वाले ऐसे ऐसे पक्षी दुर्लभ पक्षी हैं जो हमारा हजार पक्षी यहाँ आते हैं और यहाँ खत्म हो जाते हैं वो तो मेहमानबाजी के लिए आते हैं कई पक्षी तो ये जो डेमोशन क्रेन है ये मंगोलिया और मध्य एशिया से जो यहाँ आती है यहाँ मेहमान रूपी ये चार पांच पहनियाँ रहती है जैसे ये सर्दी की ऋतु में और अब यहाँ जो बड़ी हाइटेशन लाइनें निकल रही है उन लाइनों की वजह से इस साल ये कुर्जे ये निरंतर 20 दिन के अंदर 14 कुर्जे इन लाइनों के टकरा करके वो करंट से ख़त्म हो चुकी हैं इसी जगह पे आज से 10 दिन पहले छः कुर्जे ख़त्म हुई थी और ये आज चार कुर्जे यहाँ ख़त्म हो चुकी हैं Even local travellers on camels hit the network of low-hanging cables and face the risk of accidents. Life has changed for the people and wildlife of the Oran. They feel helpless, but continue to fight against power projects occupying their ancestral land, an ecosystem they have nurtured for centuries. जो आइटेंसिल लाइनों के ऊपर अभी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने राय दिया है कि इसको अंडरग्राउंड किया जाए बहुत ही अच्छी राय है हम भी यही चाहते हैं कि इसको अंडरग्राउंड करके और विकास देश को डेवलपमेंट होना चाहिए तो इसमें प्रकृति भी बचेगी और ये वन्य जीव भी बचेगी इन अ कंट्री लाइक इंडिया विद ओवर 1.4 बिलियन पीपल and just 5% of its land protected people living in culturally guarded landscapes like the oran play a key role their threatened system of mutual respect carries within it many answers for our survival and future can we ensure that unsustainable development does not destroy these practices of hope and harmony <laughs>